During the second half of the 19th century, a small group of scientists began speculating that at the smallest scales, the universe might operate very differently to our everyday experiences. If you could look close enough, it seemed possible that the universe might be made of tiny, hard particles in constant motion. Viewed in terms of atoms, heat would suddenly become a much less mysterious concept. Boltzmann and others saw that if an object was hot, it simply meant that its atoms were moving about more rapidly. Viewing the world as atoms seemed to be an immensely powerful idea. But this picture of the universe had one seemingly insurmountable problem. How could trillions and trillions of atoms even in a tiny volume of gas, ever be studied? How can we come up with mathematical equations to describe all of this? After all, atoms are constantly bumping into each other, changing direction, changing speed, and there are just so many of them. It seemed almost an impossible problem. But then Boltzmann saw there was a way. Boltzmann saw more clearly than anyone that for physics to explain this new strata of reality, it had to abandon certainty. Instead of trying to understand and measure the exact movements of each individual atom, Boltzmann saw you could build working theories simply by using the probability that atoms will be travelling at certain speeds and in certain directions. Boltzmann had transported himself inside matter. He'd imagined a world beneath our everyday reality and found a mathematics to describe it. But information isn't just something humans create. We're beginning to understand that this concept lies at the heart not only of 21st century human society, but also at the heart of the physical world itself. Every bit of information we've ever created, every book, every film, the entire contents of the internet, amounts to pretty much nothing when compared with the information content of nature. And that's because even the most insignificant event contains a spectacular amount of information. Let me show you. Imagine how many bits of information you would need to describe this. The beautiful and intricate interplay of physical laws taking place at scales and time frames that are normally imperceptible to us. But here, you're still only seeing a fraction of the complexity of nature. <laughs> 